Hey guys, this is Peter, and I'm finally getting a chance to take a look at the GLI Net uh, Spitz AX or the GLX 3000. This is a product I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite some time. And wow, I'm going to have to pack a lot in here because this is a great product with a lot of cool features. Not only is it a 5G modem, and in fact a gateway because it's also a router, it's a multi-WAN router. GLI Net makes some of the best of those. Now it has the ability to use a 5G card, and that's great. So great modem. Uh, let me just jump into that real quick. Here, this is what else they make. They're multi-WAN routers, which means they give you the ability to bring in the internet different ways. I think I can show that here and let's see, is it here? Yeah, okay. So yeah, if you have an ethernet drop, whether it's in your office or your hotel room, you can't trust that. Well, this makes it trustworthy because you can plug it in here and now I can actually create my own network using it, expand it, making it wireless as well as wired and even running VPN over that. It has all of that built in. So uh, cellular connection, of course, we're using that. A repeater, which is Wi-Fi. You could go into a Starbucks or a little cafe. McDonald's has open Wi-Fi, public Wi-Fi. I could trade stocks over that because I can make it trustworthy, reliable now, because I can take that up and replicate it, and now I can encrypt all the traffic. None of my peers are going to be able to see my traffic as it goes through because uh, it'll go straight through your internet service provider even and straight through the other side to your VPN provider. Uh, it does support all the different major ones, which is great. So WireGuard, if you're going to have a small CPU like this one uh, doing all of your encryption, it's great to use something like WireGuard, which is a little less heavy. And yeah, I downloaded all the definitions. It was so simple. You click on the button. If you don't see these icons, go here and down, do an upgrade and get to your latest firmware. IPVanish works beautifully. There's no one has more service than IPVanish does. I'll put a link there's down below. I just re up for another year. It's less than, uh, it's like $2 and some odd cents a, a month. It's fantastic. And I've really been happy with it. They co-locate in all the different major service providers. So it doesn't just work well on, you know, Xfinity. It's going to work well with T-Mobile even. I've seen nothing faster than, than this one. So let's jump into some of these other killer features. Um, let's see. Here's my T-Mobile. But here, I could turn on a repeater. In fact, I mentioned multi-WAN. You can set it up for multi-WAN. I could repeat my home internet connection as well as my cellular connection and combine them together. Create a failover. Here, it's right here under network, multi-WAN. If I had the other one lit up, it would be lit up here. Uh, here's my failover and yeah, I can drag them and drop them. Here, there's something in the way, but yeah. I could fail over my ethernet. Maybe that's gonna be my modem that I get from Comcast, whatever, and fail over to solar, uh, cellular. Here we, I can take my repeater and make that fail over to the cellular and take the ethernet and drag it out of there. It's that easy to set it up. This is great firmware, but great firmware also gives you really good power. Check this out. Here's my AT command set. There we go. AT commands, why would you want to do that? Well, so you can get even more data out of this thing. Here, here's some of my favorite ones. I'm gonna copy this one and copy. Let's just paste it in. So this is gonna give you the info. It's gonna tell you all about the different bands you're getting. So I'm getting band 41 and band two, and then I can get all of my data. Now, that's really good data because I couldn't find that anywhere else. I could always see that I was getting band 41, um, but it didn't show me any of the more details. There's my APN, there's my different network levels, there's my MTU, I can set all of that. I can even block bands, and it has all good support for all the different bands. Right here, I'm gonna show you one more AT, uh, AT command just for fun. One of my favorites is ATI. And sent. This is using the 520, which is an excellent chip. This is a well-respected chip. This is the same one that's in the Invisigig, same one that's in the Ecom 610, and the same one that we've seen in, well, the Elsys Amplimax. Now, some people are gonna say, well, oh, I'm gonna wait for the X72 and just, X72 is, isn't a thing yet. So here's what you're looking for. You want it to be th have gone through PTCRB. That's what's necessary to get your certifications, your at t That all comes after FCC. The X72 as a module has not even gone through FCC. Everyone's waiting for the X85. 
So uh, this is still top dog. Now, the one thing I would say when I benchmarked the Invisigig, the Ecom, and the Elsys is uh, we did find out that most people weren't aggregating their uplink. And that, I'd say that's the same thing here. Get some excellent download scores. And most people don't care. It's kind of like shaving your back before you go to a funeral. Nobody cares, but I care. So that's a weird analogy. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is a wonderful uh, uh, upload score or download score. And the uplink you're gonna see is, is lesser, but is it good enough for a Zoom call? Absolutely. All right, is it good enough for a Zoom call? Look, absolutely, this is gonna be fine. So yeah, uh, what, as a YouTuber, when I push large videos up, I definitely like to see more upload. And yeah, I could get there. In fact, that's what I was doing when I was blocking the other ones. So right now I am using a 5G NSA, but here, if I sit this block button, I'm going to block all these LTE channels and all these NSA channels. And that's one way that I forced my way over to be 5G SA. 5G SA gives you a little less on your download, but it gives you more upload usually. So uh, it all depends on your area. I also like 5G NSA for, for reducing the ping. It can be better if you're gaming. The That's one important thing right here. This little question mark. These docs are amazing. I'm going to show you a couple of those, but the tech support button's also equally amazing. I guess if you want to find an answer right away, you click on the support docs and yeah, check them out. Boom. It shows me which ones are the Wi-Fi antennas, all of that, and what's different about them. That's great. Nice pictures on everything. Oh, it does have multiple mounts. It has a wall mount that also has a nice sticker with it that will affix to your window. So it's a window mount as well. And that works with the existing antennas, or you can even make it work with the pro antennas. And yeah, I have it hooked up right now to this antenna, which is my Quad Pro, because it's right there. Uh, and I also have a Quad Mini, which tested excellent. I think at the price point, I actually like the Quad Mini. It has a smaller cable, which is, if you're in a car, is ideal. It also has an extension cable. And if you're going through a window, this is a really nice piece that they've added there. So I've just been tickled with this thing. It's a wonderful product. It's well supported, it has good firmware. It's gonna be allowed to be certified. Did, oh, did I show you that other AT commands? Here, here's an important one. If you have T-Mobile home internet and you got a great price and you can't get out of it, that kind of thing, a lot of people told me that. Here's your AT command to change your IMEI. Just put your IMEI in the quotes there. And then you can run this one to see what your IMEI is before and afterwards. Always make a note of that. And these ones are always great too. Uh, signal to noise. Of course I can get it in the software itself, but when I do it from the AT command, I get more granularity. What's on each antenna, right? So that's pretty cool. And that is indeed some good data. I also get beautiful graphs here. Thank you for that. That makes it, that's pretty. But uh, and historically, it'll show you when you switch from NSA to SA, it'll have two tabs. It is some great firmware, makes everything super easy, well executed. VPN, turning it on is this easy. I'm gonna go to my WireGuard client. I'm gonna pick something in San Jose. There we go. Just turn it on. I've taken an untrusted network and just made it super trustworthy. As soon as that green light goes on, there it is. I'm now good. Now, what did that do to my speed? I talked about the processor being involved. So your processor is inside the, the modem itself, and that's going to be doing all of the, the, the connection right there. Yeah, that's still a hell of a good connection. So yeah, and that is going to be secure in VPN. So if I'm on a public network, I've now made it much more private. So I think when I'm gonna take one of these when I go on a, we're gonna go on a cruise, definitely bringing one of these along so I can, not only can I share my uh, connection with my kids, but I also can secure it so that uh, I can go ahead and do banking or buy stocks or whatever happens to happen because it's all happening so fast now. There you go, guys. This is one heck of a product. And yeah, once you add an antenna to it, it's really a, an exceptional product, but even with the antennas it comes with, I gotta say, this is an A+. Plus. Um, the only thing I'd possibly change on it is the chip that they've chosen is excellent. It can do, it can multi-aggregate the uplink as well. And I think with their firmware team, they could definitely add that in. I will suggest that to them for sure. 
I love the support documents. They're wonderful. I love the fact that when you reach out to them, it's not just a cold call. You're actually sending them a log. Really, really well executed product. And, and they always do a wonderful job. Love the multi-WAN thing. Who doesn't love that? Whether you want to fail over or you want to aggregate some of your performance, this will do it for you. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll put links down below. I'll put links to the antenna as well. And IP Vanish. That is my favorite by far. You've seen the job it does. Yours doesn't do anything like that. It's all about co-locating with the different service providers. They're co-located with T-Mobile for sure. And that's why they get such amazing scores. See you in the next one, guys. Talk to you soon.